What type of person would be attracted to come and live in a country that didn't have a welfare state? You know, they had, there was, what type of person would want to come to a country where there was no, like inverted commas, free NHS or free state education or where there weren't tax credits? Quite interesting, isn't it? Obviously, that type of uh, country wouldn't attract people who want to claim off welfare or have a welfare state mindset, would it? They'd prefer to go to other countries that um, have more of those sorts of things. Maybe, you know, uh, subsidised uh, housing might appeal to people that don't particularly have many skills but want to have a house. The other thing to, to um, consider too is that if you were to get rid of the NHS completely, get rid of state education, get rid of retirement pensions, get rid of sickness benefit, get rid of tax credits, get rid of the whole of the welfare state. Imagine what that would do to government spending. Yeah, it would greatly reduce it, wouldn't it? Now, where does the government get the money from to finance government spending? Well, these days, quite often it comes from the printing press, which causes inflation. So, you know, if, if, if there was less government spending financed by less money printing, that would mean that we would be living in a country that would have lower rates of inflation and people who do work for a living would have their, the, the purchasing power of their wages better preserved. Something else to consider, you know, too, is that um, taxes are used to finance government spending. So if you get rid of retirement pensions, sick pay, uh, tax credits, housing benefits, uh, NHS, state education, then you won't need to tax people. Could even get rid of income tax. So what type of person might be inclined to migrate to a country that has got low rates of income tax? Would it be somebody who has got a welfare state mentality? Or would it be somebody who's got more of an entrepreneurial um, attitude, uh, an attitude that's based around I'm going to use my God-given skills to uh, do something useful with my life and serve my uh, fellow man. The other thing to consider, I know there'll be um, kind of Marxists and socialists watching this, or maybe, you know, the, the ethno-nationalists who fancy a bit of 1930s national socialism and they, they want a big government to look after them, you know, because they, they have this kind of pathetic, um, what would you call it, weak uh, attitude where they just expect mummy government to run their lives for them. Obviously these people would, wouldn't want that at all. What they would want is um, a big welfare state and a big, and a big wall put around their country. But it doesn't solve um, some big issues that are affecting Britain. You know, because if you, if you think about, um, say for example, getting rid of the NHS, you'll have some people say, well, what would poor people do? without the NHS? Well, the answer is, well, what are they doing now? Because there's not really any decent NHS healthcare to be had. Just try to uh, get an appointment with your GP for something other than um, going to the Britney Spears concert and you'll, you'll find out. You know, other people say, well, what about like, you know, um, unemployment benefit, job seekers allowance, you know, what about like housing benefit? When I would just say to you, well, like, what about the, the kind of um, increasing numbers of um, ex-soldiers who were sleeping rough on the streets. Well, it doesn't work anyway. You're paying taxes and you're actually getting nothing. Um, same would apply to schools, wouldn't it? You know, some people say, well, you know, you get rid of state schools. How are people going to be educated? Well, answer is um, you'll have private schools developing private or it may, it may well end up going back to uh, employers um, offering apprenticeships. And those, um, if people are going to charge money for people to go to those places, the customer's going to um, make sure that those courses are actually useful rather than what's going on now in schools, both state, you know, especially in the state sector where it's all the, uh, the alphabet people and the woke stuff has taken over. So yeah, that's that's. Um, I suppose it's a bit of um, a development on on what I was saying yesterday. You know, just think about 
what type of person would be attracted to modern Britain that has housing benefit, that has tax credits, that has um, free NHS at the point of delivery, that has free state schools? What and and and, and with that, you know, um, forty percent in easily, you know, for even just middle income earners, forty percent income tax, another ten percent on top national insurance, twenty percent VAT, excise duty on a lot of things like petrol on top of that. Um, then you've got council tax. Of t what type of person will want to come to a country that has really high rates of tax like Britain and very high levels of social spending uh, benefits, in other words? You know, it's not a surprise um, that Britain has been attracting the type of migrants that it has been attracting. You know, the other thing as well that I would say is that the government has also been importing um, men, hasn't it, mostly? Um, young fit men. Um, so this is another argument um, against um, the government, isn't it? We need to move to a society where the only thing that we're paying taxes for is to fund a police force that locks people up for committing crimes like theft and mugging, murder and stuff, um, damage to property rather than um, hurty words. You know, somebody says something, misgenders somebody on Twitter the police will come round then. So we need to um, dramatically scale back the state and uh, reclaim our lives. And um, when we do that, there'll be no need for any passports or anything like that because the type of people wanting to come to Britain will be people that um, anybody in their right mind would welcome with open arms. You know, people that are attracted and want to come in a country that has virtually uh, no income tax and you pay your own way so that's all i'm going to say and uh, we've got another beautiful cloudless uh, sky and I, I love it here how you can hear the birds tweeting away there and uh, we've got these the green pines and the, the deep deep blue sky so um it's friday and uh as they say in finnish so uh, have a good weekend so uh, god bless